find the secret setup for one of the best blitzes in the game. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTube that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So guys, I want to talk about one of the most popular blitzes in the game. It's been uh, it's been spammed to death probably for the last four to five years or so, and it's a very, very effective blitz. And if you've been playing Madden for at least three years, you've ran into somebody that uses it, uh, and it's a very effective blitz. Now, it is out of the nickel double A game which is the mid blitz and I think this formation the nickel double a gap is in probably majority of the defensive books out there not probably every one of one of them uh, but I'm gonna actually show you where you actually can get this particular blitz in every single blitz, uh, every single playbook but with better coverages now the dip, uh, the nickel double a gap I uh, it mid blitz has been very very effective it always gets dual pressure it forces your opponent to block six and max protect or slide protect to go and stop that pressure if you run into someone who's but it's played against the, uh, the mid blitz. They pretty much know how to beat it uh, if they've seen it enough because it's it's man coverages. But you can still use a nickel double a gap with a mid blitz and actually have coverages behind it. The problem with the nickel double a gap formation is that it's pretty limited in, in, in its uh, this, its coverages. It's not really there's not a lot of complex com coverages and you don't have a lot of adjustments you can make. So. It's hard to use this as in a very effective defense, but I want to show you something that the, the big nickel, which has got all these great plays in it, it's got the four lock palms, it's got the safety blitz two, it's got the cover two contained, uh, it's got cover nine, it's got the mic scrape, it's got the, it's got the sting pinch, uh, it's also got um, the uh, weak side, uh, it's got a lot of great coverages in here that really can mess your opponent up, a corner blitz three, this is, this is stuff that's really phenomenal. So, so I'm going to show you how to set this blitz up and then how you can go ahead and throw, change up your coverage on, 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 on every single other play to really make it difficult for your opponent to make pick up your tendencies and really mess with their mind. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, my controller uh, down below just so you can see how to set this up. It is extremely important that you do every step correctly because if you don't, it's not going to set up correctly. You have to reset your play. If you're playing online, um, you're, you're definitely not going, to be, not going to be able to set it up correctly. Uh, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to baseline. You're going to hit your, your wire triangle button. Then you're going to flip that, that left stick off to the left. And that's going to put your guys down. Now you're, what you're going to do is you're going to show blitz. You're going to hit your, the, the triangle or Y button and show blitz. And this is going to put everybody down, uh, in, the, uh, down in the box. All right, so the next step we're going to do is we're going to shift our defensive line. We're going to spread them out. And then we're going to go ahead and take our linebackers and then push them in. And this is going to be basically the look or the setup of this defense. Now, generally, what I like to do with this defense is I like to go ahead and take my uh, free safety and put them down in the box. Now, uh, two other adjustments. We're going to go ahead and blitz all by hitting the right bumper and then actually dropping down. And then uh, to get a more consistent pass rush, I like to go ahead and uh, slant outside by hitting the left bumper and click, uh, clicking out. So these are global adjustments, very easy to make. It's not like you're going on to individual icons. You're not, you're not, you can make these adjustments as you're coming up to, to the line of scrimmage. And with this, you're going to play, all you're going to do is just go ahead and play the middle of the box. Uh, and, and you're always going to get pressure off the edge. So you can see, very, very simple to set up. You've got three global adjustments. I'm going to play down in the box right here. And now you've got to see uh, more pressure coming off the edge right there with this blitz. Uh, another thing you can do too is you can pass commit. And you can see right here, I've got pressure off the edge uh, right there with the, with the tackles. So you can see right there, very fast to set up. I'm going to play over the middle of the field and take away my opponent's reads. And you're always going to get a guy that's going to get in. So well, this is where things get a little bit exciting is I can go ahead and change up my look against my opponent and give them different types of looks with my coverage. So now I can do a corner blitz, especially if he's rolling away from one side or the other. And now I've got some corners coming off the edge right there. So now I've got a massive drop back type of coverage right now against my opponent. 
And if I got a guy that does a lot of a quick passes or whatnot, I can take away some of his reads like that. So uh, there's, I'm not going to have any kind of pressure right here against the CPU, but you can see how you can build an entire scheme and keep hitting him with different types of coverages, but still have the threat of a very effective blitz. So guys, I recommend going into the nickel G uh, defense and actually going and playing around in the over G defense. Uh, you can use this mid blitz look and have pressure when you want to go and take it uh, and really make it difficult for him. So I'm going to be going ahead and labbing out a, a different scheme out of the out of the uh, nickel over G defense. Uh, but I just wanted to show you on how you can disguise your blitzes and give your opponent the same type of look as a double A gap and dictate how they play against you. Because if they're not blocking six, they're not slide protecting, you're always going to get someone in, in, uh, in the black backfield and it's going to cause them a lot of problems. Once again to my subscribers, thanks, thanks a lot guys. Make, make sure you smash that like button and until next time.